Number 10, linebacker Cooper Edmiston, who had a nose for the ball. More than 100 tackles three times in his career and snagged four interceptions in his junior season 2018. Number nine, offensive lineman Tyler Bowling. We considered Chris Paul and Willie Wright here too, but Bowling a three-year starter and three-time all-conference selection. Number eight, Reggie Robinson II. In his senior season, three interceptions for his career, 34 passes defense. The Dallas Cowboys saw enough to make him a fourth-round pick. Number seven, we get two for the price of one. It's my list, I could cheat. TU football's top two all-time rushing leaders, both Tulsa kids, and both played for Philip Montgomery. Shamari Brooks ran for 3,700 yards and 30 touchdowns, and D'Angelo Brewer, 3,900 yards, 23 scores. Number six, big Jackson player, a dominant force on that TU defensive line for three straight seasons, 31 tackles for loss for the undersized but ultra-productive player. Number five, he came to TU looking like a skinny basketball player. Now he is sacking NFL quarterbacks on Sundays. Travis Gibson, 13 sacks, eight forced fumbles in his time at TU, a testament to player development under Montgomery. Number four, two for the price of one, part two. Receivers and brothers, Keevan Lucas and Keelan Stokes, both helped rewrite the record books at TU. Lucas tying Howard Twilley and Steve Largent for the school record in receiving touchdowns, 32. Stokes breaking Twilley's receiving yardage record and finishing with nearly 3,800 yards. Number three, before he became the Dallas Cowboys starting left tackle this season, Tyler Smith was mauling linemen and linebackers at 11th and Harvard. The first round pick, maybe the best O-lineman in school history. Number two, only the program's all-time leading passer. How about Dane Evans pulled the trigger for that record-setting offense in 2016. 11,680 yards and 84 touchdowns in a terrific career. And number one, probably the best defensive player TU has ever had and the best linebacker in the country in 2020 without question. Zayvon Collins did it all for the Golden Hurricane. His defining moment, that overtime pick six to beat Tulane in the midst of an unforgettable six-game winning streak in 2020. To the 50, to the 45, to the 40, he may take it all the way. He capped his career by winning the Bronco Nagurski and Chuck Bednarik awards and then became TU's first first-round pick in the NFL draft in 54 years.